Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I've got for you right now is breaking. It is delicious. Roger T. Benitez, the judge out of California, strikes again, immediately making Gavin Newsom's hair gel melt yet again, because now the ammo background checks Turns out they're unconstitutional as well. I've got so much to show you. Everything will be linked right down there if you want to read it yourself. And of course, make sure you help help the channel grow by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And with that, let's get into the amazing news. Guys, this is the stuff right here. So this is the case that we're talking about. Road versus Bonta, because Bonta seems to be the defendant on a lot of unconstitutionality recently. But that's the case that we're dealing with here, and this came out last night. Introduction, if you guys are not familiar, this is what the backstory is before Benitez comes in and smacks yet another Gavin Newsom gun control special uh, across the face. In 2016, California voters approved a statewide ballot measure known as Prop 63. Prop 63 created a background check system for the purchasing of ammunition. The voters approved a system where gun owners would apply for an ammunition purchase permit. The permit would cost $50 and it would be good for four years. The permit would be renewable and revocable upon a disqualifying event. Under Prop uh, Prop 63 approach, when a gun owner wanted to purchase ammunition, he would submit his ammunition purchase permit to a licensed vendor, and the permit would be checked with the state for current validity. So you got an entire background check scheme on ammo and another fee on ammo. Okay, it's obviously unconstitutional, and the first thing that I bring to mind is Measure 114 out of uh, Oregon. They did the exact same thing. They instituted unconstitutionality through a ballot measure, and they said, well, it's what the people want. It doesn't matter. The people could want to sacrifice everybody with two eyes, but if it's the max amount of people, well, then it's okay because it's what the people want. No, the Constitution is in, is in place to prevent that level of stupidity. Same thing here. You have propositions that are being passed by the leftist electorate. Even though they want it, that doesn't mean that it's going to be constitutional or upheld or continue to be upheld. Similar thought on the Electoral College. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's going away. Anyway, let's keep going. Because Roger T. Benitez, the saint, the, 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 the judge who makes all my dreams come true and Gavin Newsom's nightmares occur, this guy has taken AR bands, taken mag bands, and now we got ammo bands. This guy's just slapping the junk out of things. Let's get it. Here's the conclusion from the St. Benitez himself. The ammunition background checks laws have no historical pedigree oop, Bruin, and operate in such a way that they violate the Second Amendment rights of citizens to keep and bear arms. Second Amendment. The anti-importation components violate the dormant commerce clause and to the extent applicable to individuals traveling into California are preempted. Hmm. Perhaps the simpler four-year and $50 ammunition purchase permit approved by the voters in Prop 63 would have fared better. <laughs> Love this guy. Accordingly, the court permanently enjoins the state of California from enforcing the ammunition sales background check provisions found in the, this following code. And the ammunition anti-importation provisions found in this code. Criminal enforcement of California Penal Code, blah, 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 by the Attorney General and all the law enforcement defendants is permanently enjoined. Oh, thank you, sir. May you have another. Bonta is batting 0 for 3 on some of his most famous and favorite common sense gun reforms to keep people safe. They're unconstitutional. Now, sure, the Ninth Circuit's sitting there waiting, but the more things you send up this pyramid, the more it gets pretty obvious there's a conflict. Anyway, let's keep going. I got another piece of the, uh, the order itself. There's two parts. Here's the first one. Therefore, it is hereby ordered that, quote, Defendant Attorney General Rob Bonta and his officers, agents, servants, employees, and attorneys, and those persons in active concert or participation with him, and those duly sworn state peace officers and federal law enforcement officers who gain knowledge of this injunction order or know of the existence of the injunction order are enjoined from implementing or enforcing the ammunition sales background check provisions found in the California Penal Code and the ammunition anti-importation provisions found, as well as the criminal enforcement of said code. Um... We're going to make sure everyone knows about it. So if they know about it, you're enjoined. Well, send this video out so more people get enjoined. And I guarantee you I'm not going to be the only one covering this. All right. That's the first one. Here is the second one. This man is indeed the Honorable Roger T. Benitez.
Two, defendant attorney general Rob Bonta shall provide forthwith by personal service or otherwise actual notice of this order to all law enforcement personnel who are responsible for implementing or enforcing the enjoined statutes. Dated January 30, 2024, Honorable Roger T. Benitez, the melter of Gavin Newsom's hair gel himself, this guy is a saint. And by the way, people, brace for impact because Gavin Newsom is about to start tweeting and he's about to start tweeting hard because that's what he always does whenever his gun control wet dreams get melted along with his hair gel right down his face. And that evil little smile that he has just kind of gets really angry all of a sudden. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed. Start your day out right, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.